for several years doing research on uh, two-dimensional materials and how they can trap light. We are very excited about our new research that appeared in Science. It actually resulted from a few breakthroughs that we managed to combine in a single system. And one of those breakthroughs is the ability to bring light in the infrared range and couple it in a very efficient way inside an electron microscope. My research is uh, related to 2D materials and light that propagates inside 2D materials. This light is called the phonon polariton. It's a hybridization of a photon and a phonon, a light wave and a sound wave. And my research for a few years was to understand how this light is created. And uh, it was mainly theoretical, but recently uh, we went into the lab and we were able to measure how the pulses of this kind of light is propagating inside 2D materials. For this experiment, we designed a new type of port that allow us to bring a lens much closer to the sample, to focus the light much stronger and have a much better coupling into the 2D materials in order that we can image the light and the phonon polaritons inside the travel. This research was uh, part of a collaboration which uh, each one of the professors are in the forefront of the research in their field. We had unique materials coming from Kansas and then manipulated into our samples in Barcelona and also having support and help in microscopy from France. The applications uh, of this research are quite wide. One part of applications is to just see new phenomena uh, of physics, of understanding how the world is working. Another application which is possible is to somehow design the light and to see nonlinear effects. Uh, we expect that a nonlinear phenomena can enable to have a qubit which is formed by light inside of the 2D material. Another application is communication inside chips, and this is the building block of every communication that we know of. We need these pulses, and the fact that we saw them and measured them for the first time opens a whole new world of communications on chips. So here is an, an exciting dream. Find a material platform, that can store quantum information, which means qubits, and then bring not just laser light to read and write, but also an electron that passes by and can read and write quantum information in the material. The Technion here, this is really a greenhouse for talented students. We have in our team people from material science and engineering, from mechanical engineering, from electrical engineering, from physics, and being able to do those things together is, is really awesome.